Okay friends, today I like to continue the subject that was discussed yesterday. As we discussed yesterday, I feel that it is a noble cause activity, which is noble cause activity, preparation of agro advisory based on the weather forecast. It is a skillful activity. Yeah, I say skillful, skillful means you must have knowledge and the ground reality situation. Unless you do not know the ground reality situation of the crop, their stages, pest and disease load and other aspects of crop management, it is very difficult to prepare agro advisory for the benefit of the farming community or any other industries. Now let us go discuss something else. We have studied many weather forecast types in the last class like now cost, short range forecast, medium range forecast, long range forecast, seasonal climate forecast, why not all. Whether the seas forecast are amenable for the preparation of agro advisory. If you raise such a question, for now cost I say no lead time for the preparation and communication because now cost is for another one hour, what will happen in the next hour. So you do not have enough time to prepare and communicate to the farmers. So in this case in the option is farmers themselves can take decision based on the information received. One a case studies I can give for this now cost. One now cost on the hail occurrence is given to the farmers of the Nelagiri districts of Tamil Nadu one hour back. The farmers did operate their sprinkler irrigation so that a strategy has been developed to face the challenge from the hail. Farmers who did the sprinkler irrigation, they were able to escape from the greater damage from the hail that occurred. But farmers who did not do it, their entire crops have been affected. This is a story. So they have to listen. Farmers must be very uh, quick to uh, take their uh, decision here. So as a scientist from scientific institution, it is very difficult to give the agro advisory only at the grassroots level of the farming community, they can take their own decision. Then short range, this is uh, for uh, 60 percent, this uh, uh, forecast can be used for the preparation of agro advisory and also communication because the forecast uh, is being given for one day with an outlook for another one day. So 48 hours are available. You can prepare and immediately you, can, you have to communicate to the farming community. So still there is a communication problem. Even then farmers can take their own decisions in addition to our spontaneous uh, release of the agro advisories. Medium range, highly useful. There is European medium uh, range weather forecast center in the European countries. They give uh, the agro advisories. But in my last class, I was telling that agro advisories or weather forecasts are may not be highly useful to the stable weather system that uh, prevail over European countries, but it is highly useful to our tropical situation. However, European countries, they give forecast on uh, our uh, frost, snow and everything. It is partly successful there also. Now in the case of India and other tropical countries, the media range weather forecast is uh, highly useful for the preparation of agro advisory as well as communicating to the farmers because it has got a lead time from 3 to 7 days. Coming to long range can be 100 percent level. Seasonal climate can be 100 percent level. Since the lead time is more, it is only 60 percent. Since the lead time is more, it is only 60 percent. Effectiveness, I say. What is effectiveness? When we were studying about the different types of forecast, comparing with the, the efficiency of the forecast given, the long range forecast has 60 percent efficiency, 
where uh, your short range forecast has got 90 percent efficiency. So, with the lead time is more means uh, whatever you do, it has got little practical application rather than though it allows fully for the preparation of agro advisory and also to communicate to the farmers. Now, uh, the other important point. So, we have studied something on agro advisory. What is the format to be used for communicating agro advisory? This is very, 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 very important. Unless you have a standard format, you can't prepare a standard agro advisory. Why I say? Today you will prepare in for one format, tomorrow you will prepare one format. Formats may get confused. There must be a standard. That standard uh, we like to discuss. One is, what is the agro advisory number? It starts from January, but it can be started based on irrigation year or based on agriculture year, based on calendar year, based on your meteorological week, anything else. But you must have a standard starting number and also put the state, date of your preparation of the agro advisory. But the basic thing for the preparation of agro advisory is weather forecast for the next 5 to 6 days. That you have to understand. And you have to consider crop other interaction. You have to consider indigenous knowledge that are available at the local level. And you have to consider the thumb rules also. And also you have to consider your experience. You have to consider the analog years what has happened. Then only your agro advisory will be highly useful to the farming community. First weather information. What are the information we like to provide under weather information? Summary of the past week weather of a particular region, of a particular district, of a particular block. What was happened? What was the amount of rainfall received? What was the wind speed? And what was the your maximum temperature? What was your minimum temperature? What was the cloud cover? What was your relative humidity like that? What happened in the past week must be given in quantity manner or also in quality manner. If it is in quantity manner, farmers are able to understand very well. So, this is required. Then in addition, what is the normal climate of the week? This is very, very important. How to compute a normal climate? We have discussed already, you have to take 30 years data on all these weather parameters, rainfall, maximum temperature, minimum temperature, relative humidity, wind speed, wind direction and cloud cover. So, this ought to be computed based on your past 30 years data, maybe for week, maybe for month, maybe for uh, decadal analysis or maybe for days, anything else, but the week is better. So, week take normal for week and provide here. So, if you find the difference, this is the normal of a particular week, but the last week in reality this had happened. So, you can able to see, pursue the weather situation. Then, thirdly you consider the weather forecast received from the institutions for the next 5 days. So, you consider past, you observe your normal and also you consider the next week forecast. Then you have the good knowledge on the weather situation of a particular district or particular block or particular area. Then you start preparing your agro advisories, collect your crop information in reality. What are the dominant crops of the region where you like to provide your agro advisories? What is the crop stages? whether the crop is sensitive to weather, whether the present stage is sensitive to weather, whether the, whether the crop has any pest and disease, whether any drought situation occurs, if under a rail and agriculture. So, you collect all real ground real information from the your extension centers or extension officials. You must have a network with them then only your agro advisory get um, uh, validated uh, very well. So, this you have to understand, you have to maintain document, you have to have a link with your extension department. Then after that, I propose or we propose for uh, this week 
I like to produce three agro advisories for dominant crops, food crops. Within the dominant crops, give attachment to uh, your food crops. Then also one agro advisory for animals. That also very very required. Then coming to the next stage. So in general, I have given whether information you are collecting or you are getting. Then you are getting the real situation crop, dominant crop, stages, pest and disease load. Then uh, thirdly, you will like to prepare three agro advisories for crops and one for animals. Now in India, I like to say one thing. We have the peak meteorological organization, India Meteorological Department. It is a renowned institution in India where there was a center, National Center for Medium Range Weather Forecast. It was functioning separately earlier. Now it is uh, get uh, uh, fixed with our India Meteorology Department, so New Delhi. They run global circulation model. They have supercomputer. So they get the weather data around the world, all the optical uh, system, they collect all data. And every circulation model is going on around 24 hours. So they develop the weather forecast for five days and um, uh, for each districts of India and they communicated to concerned your regional meteorological center. If you, if you see the administrative of uh, India meteorology department, one apex body is at New Delhi and there is uh, six regional meteorological center. Below that there are state meteorological centers. Okay? So, when the forecast is prepared for the next uh, five to six days, it is being communicated to the regional meteorological center. Under that center, many, uh, many states are uh, being uh, under control. So, after receipt of the weather forecast from the New Delhi, they smoothen for the local states conditions by their experience. By analyzing the past data, the smooth and model gives a rough idea. It may be nearer to the, the actual uh, uh, things to be anticipated, but they smooth and by their experience and past data and uh, communicate to the concerned uh, agro med field units. First, uh, New Delhi comes to the regional meteorological center, then agro med field units. This agro med field units uh, is um, available or is uh, positioned uh, by state agriculture university or ICR institution or state veterinary and animal science university. Many are given NGO also being uh, involved. So each uh, institution has his um, agro med field units. Presently, we have uh, at the agro climatic zonal level. So once on agro climatic zone level, agro med uh, uh, the institution, the center is receiving the weather forecast. It receives weather forecast not only for that center alone, but the water the districts under the control of agroclimatic zone, they receive the weather forecast. So suppose for example, the agroclimatic zone A is there, where one agro field unit is there. The agroclimatic zone has the four district means, this agro field unit gets a weather forecast for four districts. So after seeing that, they convene expert uh, people one agronomist, one plant pathologist, one entomologist, one physiologist, whatever may be the resource. They convene a meeting uh, on every Tuesday and uh, uh, Friday and uh, they analyze the weather forecast received from the regional meteorological center and also they analyze the data received from the extension center on crop position, stage and pest and disease load. They prepare agro advisory then communicated to dailies, web and television and also SMS through mobile phone number because they have uh, gotten the mobile number from farmers and those are being uh, uh, linked to our computer. So when message is uh, printed and okay, if you put to pass on automatically the, the, the highlighted message that we will be seeing later will be communicated to the farmers to take. Uh, the decision to adapt. So in this way, this system is being operated. So this is enough for today's class. In the next class, we continue some more things on this aspect. Thank you very much.